हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू विद्या सर क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल सो ये वीडियो टा जब दी थंबनेल ले देखी पड़ चुका दिस इज़ फॉर द एसएसपी टीजीटी एंड द अपकमिंग एग्जाम दैट इज़ एलटीआर एंड आरएसटी जो मने एलटीआर एंड आरएसटी पे ही प्रिपरेशन कर चुके हैं एंड आल्सो जो मने अपकमिंग एग्जाम नियरली एग्जाम आ चुकी ह� तो विद्या सागर क्लासेस तरफ रो दिस इज द जूलोजी रामर आज टॉपिक दैट इज बॉडी फ्लूइड एंड सर्कुलेशन सो मेनली हमर मोटर रहबो व्हाट इज ब्लड एंड व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ ब्लड एंड हाउ द ब्लड फंक्शंस इन योर बॉडी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक तो हमें फर्स्ट देखिए व्हाट इज ब्लड ब्लड मींस हम माइंड को कोन आसो इट इज ए टिश्यू और इट इज ए सेल और इट इज ऑर्गन और इट इज ऑर्गन सिस्टम सो बेसिक थिंग दैट इज ब्लड इज ए टिश्यू राइट एंड हाउ मेनी टिश्यूज आर देयर इन योर बॉडी सो देयर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ टिश्यू दैट इज एपिथेलियल टिश्यू एंड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू मस्कुलर टिश्यू एंड न्यूरल टिश्यू एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ न्यूरल टिश्यू ठीक है जस्ट सिंपलीफाई कर दो द फंक्शन ऑफ न्यूरल टिश्यू दैट इज फॉर द कम्युनिकेशन एंड नर्व इज द मोस्ट एक्टिव सेल्स इन योर बॉडी सो नर्वस टिश्यू व्हिच कंपोज्ड ऑफ नर्व्स एंड नर्व ऑफ बॉडी दैट इज एक्टिव एंड इट हेल्प्स इन कम्युनिकेशन एंड मस्कुलर टिश्यू इट हेल्प्स इन मूवमेंट्स ऑफ आवर फॉर ड्यू टू द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ आवर मसल आई एम टॉकिंग विद यू ड्यू टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ आवर मसल्स और द मूवमेंट ऑफ आवर मस्कुलर मूवमेंट्स देन कनेक्टिव टिश्यू दैट इज ब्लड बोन व्हिच हेल्प्स इन कनेक्ट ऑफ द डिफरेंट ऑर्गन और द डिफरेंट टिश्यू इन योर बॉडी ब्लड बोन एंड कैटलेस एंड ब्लड इज दैट इज सॉलिड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू सॉरी ब्लड इज दैट इज फ्लूइड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू बोन इज दैट इज सॉलिड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू एंड कैटलेस दैट इज सेमी फ्लूइड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू so we can say that blood is a connective tissue or fluid connective tissue right then you look here what is the the process of formation of blood blood could formation way so that is in a in adult case blood is formed in bone marrow to time i know that is blood is formed in the bone marrow suppose this one the structure of bone and these are the structure of bone marrow blood is formed in bone marrow or long bone marrow like thigh muscle or thigh bone called as femur Femur is the longest bone in our body, and also some amount of blood also formed from the that is vertebral column and also from the ribs. So this is the how the blood forms. Then just look here, that is the process of formation of blood. The process of formation of blood that is called as hemopoiesis. Hemopoiesis. The formation of blood. Process of formation of blood. Process of formation of blood. And how much blood is present in a human body? So, just see whether it is approximately five to five point five liter blood present in human body. That is five to five point five liter. And just see whether it is what are the basic essential. For the what is the basic essential of blood in your body? So the kya to start puru the kya jethi that is I am janle ki the formation of blood that is called as hemopoiesis and blood is that is fluid connective tissue and I am janle how many types of connective tissue or how many types of tissue are present in our body that is epithelial connective and muscular and neural tissue. So our topic the kya that is our topic the kya ki how the blood formation takes place. Okay. For example, for example, I am taking some amount of blood from my artery or vessel. Which amount of blood? Just the amount of artery or vessel. Any? Look here. Suppose, 
जदि आम गोटे सेंट्रीफ्यू मेसीन पके एंड सेंट्रीफ्यू कर ब्लड को फर एक्जाम्पल स्पिनिंग और सेंट्रीफ्यू कर ब्लड को दे कौन कौन ब्लड रंपोनेट बाहर फर एक्जाम्पल ब्लड को पकईले दिज आर द ब्लडस एंड जो आर्टरी और भेसेल रु टेक् कर सेंट्रीफ्यू कर सेंट्रीफ्यू कले व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट्स दैट वी आर वी आर फाइंडिंग फ्रॉम द सेंट्रीफ्यू मशीन तो नंबर वन दैट इज प्लाज्मा देन सम अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लूइड मैट्रिक्स एंड थर्ड वन दैट इज फॉर्म एलिमेंट्स राइट एंड व्हाट इज प्लाज्मा एंड व्हाट इज फॉर्म एलिमेंट एंड व्हाट इज फ्लूइड मैट्रिक्स लेट्स मी लेट मी एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज प्लाज्मा प्लाज्मा दैट इज ए जस्ट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस वन द स्ट्रक्चर फॉर एग्जांपल नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज प्लाज्मा प्लाज्मा कंटेन वाटर दैट इज 92 92% वाटर एंड 6 to 8% protein first kon hela na ami odi centrifuge machine re blood ko pakaile and blood ro composition paile kon kon na plasma fluid matrix fluid matrix and formed elements right plasma ko jodi dekhia it is straw color fluid straw color fluid and plasma with the kon kon component that is 92 92% water the maximum concentration of plasma that is water and only 6 to 8% that is protein and very very important what are the proteins and you have to remember these proteins that is 6 to 8% protein that is fibrinogen globulin and albumin very much important what are the proteins present in plasma or the protein that is 6 to 8% present in plasma are fibrinogen globulin and albumin then i mean next the care what are the function of fibrinogen globulin albumin but fluid matrix the maximum concentration pile that is 55% plasma blood ro 55 bhag hoche plasma 45 bhag hoche normally for four elements means RBC, WBC, and platelet. Why it is called as form elements? Because normally, these these parts RBC, WBC, platelets are formed in the bone marrow. So that it is called as form element RBC, WBC, and platelet. Platelet. Okay. Let's see. That is what are the function of fibrinogen? Okay. Fluid matrix. Some amount of fluids are also present in plasma. So basically, we just centrifuge blood to pack it. So normally, from fire, that is thinner layer, plasma rote, fluid matrix rote, plasma, fluid matrix, and formed element, right? So what is the process? What is the process of formation of blood? That is hemopoiesis, and normal healthy individual that is five liter to five point five liters blood are present, and it it may be vary from person to person, or it may be vary from that is woman to man. So depend upon the circumstances, circumstances, and also the environment, the organisms or the environment that we are living. So plasma, fluid matrix, form elements, these are the basic components of the blood, and प्लाज्मा को जो देखिया दैट इज 55% ब्लड रो जो प्लाज्मा देन से 55% प्लाज्मा रो हमें देखिया के प्लाज्मा रे कोन कोन होछ दैट इज 90 रो 90 रो 92 भाग और 90 रो 92% पाइले दैट इज वाटर पाइले तो मैक्सिमम कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ प्लाज्मा दैट इज वाटर और 6 टू 8% प्रोटीन राइट एंड द प्रोटीन आर फिब्रोनोजन ग्लोबुलिन एल्बुमिन एंड वेरी मच इंपोर्टेंट व्हाट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ प्रोटीन एंड 45% दैट इज पाइले में फॉर्म एलिमेंट आरबीसी डब्ल्यू एस प्लेटेड व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज फॉर्म एलिमेंट बिकॉज़ इट इज फॉर्म From our bone marrow. Okay. Then what is the function of fibrinogen? Six to fibrinogen put by the plasma ro ninety to ninety two percent water. Six to eight percent protein. 
एंड से प्रोटीन रो फिब्रिन रो जेल हेल्प कोन फिब्रिन जेल काम दैट इज मोस्टली इन्वॉल्वड इन क्लॉटिंग एंड कोएगुलेशन दैट इज क्लॉटिंग एंड कोएगुलेशन सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल हम जे धात्री किछ कट हो छी या बॉडी रो एनी पार्ट्स रो जदि किछ कट हो छी देन इमीडिएटली द ब्लड क्लॉटिंग टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंट ऑफ दिस प्रोटीन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज फिब्रिनोजन एंड द सेकंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट प्रोटीन दैट इज ग्लोबुलिन हेल्प्स इन डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म एंड थर्ड वन दैट इज अल्बुमिन इट हेल्प्स इन ऑस्मोटिक बैलेंस ऑस्मोटिक बैलेंस मींस वाटर बैलेंस एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देयर आर सो मेनी फंक्शंस आर आल्सो globulin and albumin but here our topic that is fibrinogen globulin albumin what are the main functions but globulin defense mechanism chadi ki also bahut sara function hoche and albumin ra main function chadi that is osmotic balance chadi ki bahut sara function also present hoche so fibrinogen directly mon rakhe rache and exam point of view but directly mon rakhe rache what are the function of fibrinogen that is clotting and coagulation and what are the function of globulin that is defense mechanism and albumin that is osmotic balance also प्लाज्मा रे हमें किछि एंड वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट दिस क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर्स प्रेजेंट इन प्लाज्मा इन इनएक्टिव फॉर वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट एंड आल्सो वी कैन से दैट दैट इज फिब्रिनोजेन इज इन इनएक्टिव फॉर and the active form is fibrinogen that is fibrin or fibrin so important plasma contain fibrinogen and this is in inactive form in inactive form and the active form of fibrinogen is that is fibrin so we can call that clotting factors are present in a plasma in an inactive form and second most important point if we are removing the clotting factor from the plasma then it is called as plasma without or plasma minus clotting factor called as sero plasma without clotting factor sero and from the protein that is fibrinogen globulin albumin the fibrinogen is the most essential protein it is helps in clotting and coagulation of blood and fibrinogen fibrinogen is present in an inactive form and its active form that is called as fibrin or fibrin then what are the formed element rbc wbc platelet okay or that is called as erythrocyte leukocyte and thrombocyte so the main basic thing you dekhiya ko to normally upare blood or component or formation ho jani from the bone marrow but initial stage re और इन एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज रे इट इज फॉर्मड फ्रॉम द योक साइड देन एस 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 इन एडल्ट एज और इन यंग एज इट इज द ब्लड कंपोनेंट्स आरबीसी डब्ल्यूबीसी प्लेटलेट्स आर फॉर्मड फ्रॉम द बोन मेरो राइट ओके देन कम टू द फर्स्ट दैट इज आरबीसी तो व्हाट इज द बेसिक नीड ऑफ आरबीसी इन योर बॉडी फर्स्ट आरबीसी रो पॉइंट देखिए देन व्हाट इज द बेसिक नीड ऑफ आरबीसी देखिए RBC is otherwise called as erythrocyte and the formation of RBC the process of formation of RBC is called as erythropoiesis right erythropoiesis then normal individual jodi ame RBC ko dekhia and RBC form from the bone marrow and very much important which vitamin is responsible for the formation of RBC that is vitamin B12 okay because vitamin B12 is a highly responsible or the formation of that is him him globin or the him part is formed by the vitamin b12 so ultimately we can say that 
RBC contains hemoglobin, so that the hemoglobin ko dorkar porje vitamin B12, B12. So we can call that there is, we can say that also RBC formation pay vitamin B12 is necessary. Okay. So RBC is called as erythrocyte, and the formation of RBC is called as erythropoiesis. Then normal individual RBC concentration that is high to 5.5 million RBC. Okay. Then RBC color that is red color due to presence of hemoglobin and each 100 milliliter blood ray that is 12 to 16 gram hemoglobin right and hemoglobin structure hemoglobin heme and globin globin is a protein molecules and heme that is non protein molecules so that we can say that by the combination of both protein and non protein we can call that this is a complex protein and each hemoglobin can bind four molecules of oxygen and oxygen found in the atmosphere in a molecular form or O2 so that we can say that each hemoglobin can bind four oxygen molecule right then graveyard of RBC or the copper stand of RBC that is plain and there are primary lymphoid organ and secondary lymphoid organs are there in your body so bone marrow and thymus are the primary lymphoid organ and secondary lymphoid organ that is spleen tonsils and pears what are the what are the basic needs of lymphoid organs in your body so here just you have to remember that is bone marrow and thymus are the primary lymphoid organ where is spleen tonsils Pairs of patches, these are the secondary lipid organ. Okay, the graveyard of RBC that is called as spleen, and the concentration of RBC that is 5, 5 to 5.5 million RBC. 5 to 5.5 million RBC per millimeter cube. Okay, then the graveyard of RBC that is spleen, and RBC color is red color due to presence of oxygen storing pigment that is hemoglobin. Then one hemoglobin can vary four molecules of oxygen and structure of hemoglobin that is heme and globin globin is a protein molecule and heme is that is non protein molecule by the combination of both protein and non protein it is called as complex protein okay and which metal is present in hemoglobin that is most important iron iron present iron is a metal which is present in that is hemoglobin right then what is the basic need of rbc rbc function for example this is the structure of lungs right and we are taking oxygen and ultimately this oxygen will go to lungs this is the structure of lungs and oxygen from the lungs or oxygen from the alveoli it will go to blood vessel and which component of the blood which component of the blood carry oxygen and the motor going to oxygen as well that is long so then oxygen will mix in blood then blood going to the different body or different cell to oxygen provide for you right and oxygen cell replace over then carbon dioxide release over and again carbon dioxide blood but they can see long surgery and release over so blood or cook of an eta long slow oxygen with her help coach that is rbc The main function of the RBC, it helps in transport of a gas. Means, it will intake of oxygen, oxygen down lungs, and the structural functional unit of lungs that is called as alveoli. Then from the alveoli, oxygen will go to the blood. So, we can say that blood is a medium which flows inside the body. Or blood got a nodi volume body set up flow goes. And say nodi ray that is donga volume come goes, that is RBC. Okay, and say donga re now we have a come across that is hemoglobin. For example, this is blood, this is blood vessel, and bloods are flowing, and inside the blood vessel there is RBC, and inside RBC it is hemoglobin. So ultimately, I'm going to that is long through oxygen to hemoglobin bind. Course. Then hemoglobin body are different tissue in conjunction. Then tissue for the metabolic reaction, for example, for the cellular respiration. Again, I am drawing this diagram. This is the structure of human lungs. What is the goal of RBC or what is the function of RBC? Let me explain. For example, this is the structure of lungs and it oxygen is 
from external nostril external nostril then trachea then primary bronchi then secondary bronchi then tertiary bronchi then terminal bronchioles and the alveoli alveoli is the structural and functional unit of lungs then oxygen ko blood intake karibo blood intake karibo means blood re the component rbc will receive the blood and in rbc there is a structure hemoglobin hemoglobin will bind to oxygen so binding of hemoglobin with oxygen is called as oxyhemoglobin oxyhemoglobin okay then oxygen flow karibo for example this is the cell of i this is ear this is body the different cell ko oxygen jibo and oxygen re kon hobo for example oxygen gala then oxygen gala then oxygen gala then for the cellular reaction oxygen will be utilized and carbon dioxide will be released then carbon dioxide rbc bind karibo then again the reversible of the process will occur and carbon dioxide will release from the external nostril so for example if this is a cell and this is blood vessel right so we can say that blood is a medium which continuously flows inside the body and blood is a medium blood is a medium which helps in transport of a gas nutrient and all the enzyme and hormone let me explain what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of this sentence or for example this is the structure of gi tract okay and these are the small intestine and this is the large intestine and this is anus okay and this is the structure of this is the structure of lungs okay okay right for this is the structure of lungs and this is structure of gi tract gastrointestinal tract these are the blood vessel and bloods are flowing inside the blood vessel right i mean jani che we are taking daily nutrients or we are taking the nutrients for example carbohydrate protein fats so ultimately carbohydrate protein and fat maximum digestion occurs in small intestine right and also maximum absorption takes place in small intestine so maximum digestion and absorption small intestine hela pare it will go to bloods so we can call that blood is a medium which helps in transport of gas nutrient and hormone the nutrient code asla from the gi tract nutrient asla blood vessel ko for example carbohydrate protein protein or for example glucose okay from the lungs blood will take the oxygen then glucose and oxygen will go to the different parts of cell right different parts of cell ko it is oxygen and glucose will go then cell will use the glucose and oxygen and release atp and carbon dioxide then carbon dioxide blood dioxide the sole goal of rbc is to carry the oxygen to the different cells and receive the carbon dioxide from the cells to again release from the external nostril so this is the basic structure how the bloods act like a medium in our body so gi tract through blood receive kala all the nutrients and from the lungs it is receiving oxygen and then nutrient and oxygen are the very essential things for our cells or for the every part of our cell then it will go to our cell then inside the cell glucose and oxygen will be utilized then carbon dioxide and atp will release and atp is called as energy currency of our cell then atp am body re utilize hobo and carbon dioxide also utilize hobo then carbon dioxide am external nostril na cover dei paribo this is the basic idea how the bloods how why the blood flows in our body for this mechanism and also for, for example so many glands are there 
adrenal gland, pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, pancreas gland, and these so types of glands are present. And these glands also secrete some of the enzyme and also some of the hormones. These hormones and enzyme also mix with the blood and flows to the different cells of the body for their action. So this is the basic structure. For example. For example, the cellular reaction that is C6H12O6 called as cellular respiration. C6H12O6 plus oxygen gives rise carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Then you can balance this equation. There is 6 carbon, and here is 6 carbon. There is H12 and this is 6H2O so that 6 h 2 6 plus 6O2 gives a 6O2 plus 6H2O plus it. Let it balance karibo. that this is the reaction of respiration or respiration is a process by which the glucose is utilized in the presence of oxygen and get released carbon dioxide, water and energy. Okay. So a thing by glucose cell with the car, this is the structure of cell and cell with reaction OG. So reaction by Glucose the correct glucose key negative from the GI tract or the gastrointestinal tract or stomach to small intestine to blood the kidney. Then from the lungs it will receive the oxygen and oxygenic punch. Then carbon dioxide release of blood and metabolic waste release of then blood through for example this is the structure of kidney. Then this metabolic waste will flows will flow by the blood to the kidney and then kidney the filters in the ureter water the body and carbon dioxide lungs water the body so this is the basic mechanism how the blood flows inside the body and why the blood flows inside the body and what are the basic functions of blood inside our body so let it let's start our topic that is components of the blood that is rbc then wbc then platelet okay function of rbc that is transport of gas wbc it, it can mechanical support or it is from it can prevent from the there are so many infections it can prevent from the infection what are the components of wbc wbc are classified into two groups that is granulocytes and agranulocytes granulocytes means the structure of WBC or the parts of WBC which contains some granule like substance for example these are the granules like substance so that is called as granulocytes neutrophils eosinophils and basophils very very important neutrophils eosinophils basophils are the order of granulocytes then agranulocytes means these these are not contain any granule or any granule like body so that these are called a lipocyte and monocyte okay then again lipocyte is divided into b lipocyte and t lipocyte okay so what are the function of neutrophils neutrophils plus monocyte phagocytic property phagocytic means direct put antigen go by foreign particle go yield the war phagocytosis kariwa neutrophils and monocyte are phagocytic property eosinophils property that is resist infection infection rubo chevo and vasophils secret histamine serotonin and heparin very very important what is the function of so I'm body look on there is RBC WBC platelet these are the formed elements and the concentration of RBC WBC platelets that is 45 percent or the blood ko zoom kariya that is blood or male coconut plasma and that is formed element plasma 55 percent and formed element 45 percent and only few amounts of fluid matrix are also there so formed elements are formed from the bone marrow so that it is called as formed elements and RBC WBC platelet are mainly the formed element then body like RBC that is formation of RBC that is called as erythropoiesis and RBC lifespan that is 120 days and graveyard of RBC that is spleen and also it contain 
every 100 milliliter blood that is contain of 12 to 16 gram of hemoglobin and the if the rbc concentration concentration is high it is called as polycythemia and if the rbc concentration is low it is called as erythropenia and high rbc concentration we can see in high altitude area if you go from the plain area to polar area the rbc concentration get increase plain area to the polar area the oxygen 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 level get decrease and oxygen level decrease of polar so the semanoko area semanoko loco mano case rbc concentration about body jivo so ultimately semana tamara goal he jivo kona oxygen to come hija rbc body do they have oxygen would go more and more capture care so that you can say that from if you go from the plain area to polar area the rbc concentration get decrease okay RBC concentration get increase if you go from the plain area to polar area oxygen concentration decrease and RBC concentration increase so that polar area local one of gallery ticket cheek or ticket red color the so RBC polycythemia if the RBC concentration is high more than 5 million to 5.5 million per millimeter cube then it is called as polycythemia and if the RBC concentration is low that is called as erythropenia also WBC concentration if high then it is called as leukocytosis and we can call that leukopenia if the wh concentration is that is low and if platelet concentration high that is called as thrombocytosis and if the platelet concentration is low then we can call that that is polycytopenia related so rbc wbc platelet and wbc are classified into two group that is granulocytes and agranulocytes then granulocytes are Granulocytes contain neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, and agranulocytes contain that is lymphocyte and monocyte. So basically, what are the function of neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, and what is the function of lymphocyte, monocyte? You have to remember the function of neutrophil and monocyte that is phagocytic property, and the function of eosinophils that is resist infection or allergic reaction. Then function of basophils or the basophils secret histamine, serotonin, and heparin. And very important thing that is what is heparin. heparin prevents the clotting of blood inside the blood vessel inside the blood vessel all right then what is the function of platelet mainly responsible for the blood clotting and platelet is otherwise called as thrombocytes. RBC is called as erythrocyte, WB is called as leukocyte, and the platelet is called as thrombocyte. And I have already told about if the RBC concentration is high, it is called as polycythemia, and if the RBC concentration is low, it is called as erythropenia, and the WB is concentrated as leukocytosis and leukopenia, and also thrombocytosis or thrombocytopenia. Okay so these are the components of blood and then our next topic as say that is how the blood clotting and coagulation takes place and the next topic will be about how the erythroblastosis fetalis conditions occur and then blood groupaging and then function of heart and so how the uh, heart works really and how the blood circulation takes place inside the body so these topics are to be discovered to be explained in the next video so let's start the some of the question so one of the factors required for the maturation of erythrocyte then the answer is that is vitamin b12 because vitamin b12 is highly responsible for the maturation of hemoglobin and ultimately you can say that hemoglobin is a component of rbc so that it ultimately the vitamin b12 is very much important for the maturation of erythrocyte or the process of erythrocyte erythropoiesis vitamin k is required for the changes of prothrombin to thrombin synthesis of prothrombin and prevalence of thromboplastin and it is also a familiar question what is the basic function of vitamin k it is changes of prothrombin to thrombin changes in prothrombin to thrombin 
answer that is one then third question the thick muscular projection on the wall of ventricle called as thin muscular projection on the wall of ventricle okay for example this is the structure of heart let me explain here this is the structure of for example this is structure of heart yeah, and this is right atria and right ventricle left atria and left ventricle right atria and left atria separated by a that is muscular layer that is called as inter atrial septum and right ventricle and left ventricle are separated by thick this is thick and this is thin thick interventricular septum then both side atria b chamber is called as atria or auricle both side atria and ventricle are separated by a septum that is called as atrioventricular septum then there are some projections and you have to remember here the layer of the ventricle or the chamber of the ventricles are more thickness than the layer of atria then one important thing there is a projection of heart ventricle of heart is called as columni corneae this is this is and columni corneae there is some muscles that is papillary muscles or you can say the papillary tissue what is the function of this right atria and right ventricle are right atria and right ventricle are guided by a tricuspid valve I go cluster put here then left atrial left ventricle guided by bicuspid valve or it is mitral valve from the papillary muscles there are some projections connected to the right ventricle and left ventricle ultimately called as cordite tendon. so here the answer is that is columni corneae the projection of heart which contain the papillary muscles are called as columni corneae then come to the next question when type of b agglutinogen what is b agglutinogen and agglutinin agglutinogen and agglutinin if type of a b agglutinogen for example antigen always you have to remember antigen and antibody for example someone having blood group a right suppose this is a structure of rbc of a blood group person okay so in the surface of rbc there must be a antigen jahar jo blood group for example a blood group tar rbc ro surface re a antigen paye and tar plasma re obviously tar this is the blood vessel and blood vessel with blood achi and blood ro components hochi plasma and rbc w is platelet so janakaro rbc re jodi antigen present achi rbc ro surface re then tar plasma contain karibo tar alternate antibody for example someone having a blood group then tar rbc ro surface re a antigen thibo and plasma that is antibody b so here the question is for example janakaro b blood group tar rbc ro surface re b antigen paya or agglutinogen paya agglutinogen is antigen and agglutinin is called as antibody so janakar b blood group means tar rbc ro surface re b antigen paya and plasma re antibody a paya so it answer kon hobo when type of a b agglutinogen or when type of a b antigen is not present on the surface of rbc janakara rbc ro surface re b antigen miluni b antigen miluni mane jodi dara b blood group hei thanta tar obviously rbc ro surface re b antigen mili thanta or jodi dara either tar ko blood b antigen miluni means tar a blood group hei thai pare a b blood group hele to both a antigen and b antigen rbc ro surface re milbo O blood group that is antibody A and B and there is no the O blood group may be A blood group 
ताले इट तो किछ सेमिटर ऑप्शन नाही हिज प्लाज्मा वुड कंटेंट कोण तर बी एंटीजन नाही फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल तर बी एंटीजन नाही माने सपोज ताले एटा ए ब्लड ग्रुप होई थाई होई थाई परे एंड ए एंटीजन थाई परे तर ए एंटीजन थाई परे तर प्लाज्मा रे कोण थिवो एंटीबॉडी बी थिवो राइट तो एंटीबॉडी बी हो आंसर फॉर एग्जांपल तमे जदि भाबे एंटी ए एंटी ए होछि माने एंटीबॉडी ए जदि आंसर राइट है मा एंटीबॉडी ए बसे या ताले स्योर तार आरबीसी सरफेस रे बी थिवा दरकार आरबीसी रे सरफेस रे जहार बी रहबो तार एंटीबॉडी प्लाज्मा रे ए रहबो सो दैट व्हाट एटी तो डायरेक्टली लिखि दी छे एग्लूटिन इज नॉट प्रेजेंट ऑन द सरफेस माने जदि बी एंटीजन ता आरबीसी रे सरफेस रे मिलुनी बी आरबीसी रे सरफेस मिलुनी माने केबे भेले तार प्लाज्मा रे एंटीबॉडी ए हेइ परियोनी सो एटी फॉर एग्जांपल बी आरबीसी रे सरफेस रे बी मिलुनी माने सपोज ए मिलु थाई परे एंड ए जदि मिलु छि तार प्लाज्मा रे एंटीबॉडी बी मिलबो दैट आंसर इज दैट इज बी देन हिस्टामिन इन द ब्लड इज सिक्रेटेड बाय एबे हमें कह देले दैट इज हिस्टामिन सेरोटोनिन एंड हेपारिन दीज आर सिक्रेटेड फ्रॉम दैट इज बासोफिल्स न्यूट्रोफिल्स एसिनोफिल्स एंड बासोफिल्स दीज आर अंडर ग्रैनुलोसाइट्स बासोफिल सिक्रेट हिस्टामिन सेरोटोनिन एंड हेपारिन तो नेक्स्ट क्लास रे हमरा डिटेल्स पढिया नेक्स्ट क्लास रे हमें डिटेल्स पढिया व्हाट आर द अदर फंक्शन ऑफ ग्लोबुलिन एंड अल्बुमिन एंड व्हाट आर द अदर फंक्शन ऑफ मोनोसाइट एंड लिम्फोसाइट एंड व्हाट आर द अदर फंक्शन ऑफ एसिनोफिल्स बासोफिल्स आल्सो जस्ट हमें यदि एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रे देखि कहि देले कि न्यूट्रोफिल्स एंड मोनोसाइट फैगोसाइटिव प्रॉपर्टी एसिनोफिल्स रेजिस्ट इन्फेक्शन सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देयर आर सो मेनी फंक्शंस ऑफ एसिनोफिल्स एंड बासोफिल्स आर आल्सो सो नेक्स्ट क्लास रे हम देखिया विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ब्रॉड द कंपोजिशन ऑफ लीफ कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एज लीफ इज अदरवाइज कॉल्ड एज अ टिश्यू फ्लूइड फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ब्लड वेसल एंड आई एम पढिले जीआई ट्रैक रू एंड लंग्स रू ऑक्सीजन ब्लड रे मिसिबो एंड आल्सो ग्लूकोज भी ब्लड में सिबो देन सब सेल भी थ्रू जिवो एंड ब्लड वेसल एंड सेल भीतरे देयर इज सिक्रेशन ऑफ ब्लड एंड से सिक्रेशन में थिवो प्लाज्मा नॉट प्रोटीन वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट केबे भी हेले ब्लड वेसल टू सेल भीतरे जो एक्सचेंज ऑफ मटेरियल और एक्सचेंज ऑफ ग्लूकोज एंड ऑक्सीजन टेक्स प्लेस प्रोटीन देयर इज नो इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ प्रोटीन ग्लूकोज एंड ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट हुए तो दिन को कोडिए लीटर पर डे कोडिए लीटर पर डे रे नॉर्मली पर फ्लूइड आसे एंड से फ्लूइड दे के नॉर्मली पर कोनो ना ग्लूकोज एंड ऑक्सीजन सेल भीतर जाए अगेन 18 लीटर पर डे पुनी बैक पळाय दैट इज फ्रॉम टू द ब्लड वेसल एंड ए फ्लूइड रे कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड मेटाबॉलिक वेस्ट है जोटा होची सेल यूटिलाइज कर दिव ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिएंट को एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मेटाबॉलिक वेस्ट को रिलीज कर दिव बट सम ऑफ द फ्लूइड is present here two liter types kodi liter astila kodi to two liter to these are called as tissue fluid and tissue fluid are normally par ame rbc pai ani sorry tissue re ame normally par paiya that is rbc pai ani platelet pai ani fibrinogen globulin albumin pai ani so that is no rbc no platelet platelet pai ani less protein लेस नो आरबीसी नो प्लेटलेट लेस प्रोटीन लेस कैल्शियम फिब्रोनोजेन ग्लोबुलिन अल्बुमिन एगोडा किछि आसीबोनी ब्लड ब्लड वेसल भीतर सेल को एंड आल्सो आरबीसी आसीबोनी प्लेटलेट आसीबोनी बट डब्ल्यूबीसी कैन पास इन लीफ वी कैन से दैट देयर इज नो आरबीसी बट मोर डब्ल्यूबीसी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इन लीफ देयर इज नो आरबीसी बट मोर डब्ल्यूबीसी सो हियर देयर इज नो आरबीसी नो प्लेटलेट्स नो लेस प्रोटीन लेस कैल्शियम एंड फास्फोरस आंसर दैट इज 1 then a person with ab blood group if someone having ab blood group then what is the condition in that blood group has a and b antigen in his plasma antigen always present in you have to remember antigen always present on the surface of rbc on the surface of rbc rbc not in plasma so antigen in plasma ho ni lacks any antibody on its rbc surface 
लैक्स इन एंटीबॉडी ऑन इज आरबी सरफेस एंटीबॉडी रो आरबी सरफेस तो इतनी किसी नहीं एंटी जितना तो लैक्स इन एंटीबॉडी ऑन इज प्लाज्मा देन नहीं पड़ता ना देन कैन रिसीव ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन फ्रॉम ए पर्सन ऑफ इज ओन ग्रुप यस ऑब्वियसली ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप इज कॉल्ड एज यूनिवर्सल रिसिपिएंट्स एंड यूनिवर्सल डोनर दैट इज ओ नेगेटिव ओ नेगेटिव दैट इज यूनिवर्सल डोनर एंड ए बी पॉजिटिव दैट इज यूनिवर्सल recipients why i am saying here that is o negative and ab positive so next class i will explain about the blood grouping and the blood clotting and coagulation mechanism so in next class i will explain you why i am writing here o negative and i am writing here o ab positive the next the interarterial septum the septum which divides the both side atria or left atria and right atria then it is a thin muscular wall a thick muscular wall and thick fibrous tissue and this there is a thin muscular wall then the sinoatrial node is normal pacemaker heart is called as myogenic in nature right means heart myogenic in nature means निजे निजर आक्शन पोटेंशियल जेनेट जेनेट कर पारे एंड इट इज इंट्रेनसिक इन नेचर मीन्स निजे निजर आक्शन पोटेंशियल जेनेट कर एंड द मोस्ट इंपोर्टाट थिंग इज द आक्शन पोटेनसीआल जेनेटेड बै एस ए नोट और इट इज कल्ड एज स्पेस मेकर अफ हार्ट सैनो आटेरियल नोट एंड इट इज लोकेशन इज दट इज रईट अपर कर्नर अफ द रईट एट्र सो यो एट्रियल नोट इज नर्माल पेस मेकर ऑफ द ह्यूमन हार्ट बिकॉज इट इज लोकेटेड इन द राइट एट्रियम ऑब्वियसली इट इज लोकेटेड इन द राइट अपर कर्न ऑफ राइट एट्रियम ठीक अच्छे बट एप्रोप्रिएट आंसर हियर इट इज द ओनली पार्ट ऑफ द कंडक्टिंग सिस्टम दैट कैन जेनेट इम्पल्स एस एन नोड इज द पेस मेकर ऑफ हार्ट एंड एबी नोड इज कल स्पेस सेटर ऑफ हार्ट सो वी कैन से दैट देर इज अल्सो सम अल्सो सम कि अवदान अच्छी एबी नोड रो एप्रोप्रिएट इट कैन जेनेट द मैक्सीम नंबर अफ एक्शन पोटेनसीयल रईट it produce action potential that are more size in other parts no it can generate the maximum number of action potential so there it is called as space maker what it is percentage of ventricle filling achieved by the atrial contraction to ara mechanism padhi ne but i think jana thibo ki how the inferior vena cava superior vena cava and coronary sinus opens to the right atrium and then how the blood from the right atrium to uh, from the right atrium fill with right ventricle and then how it go to the lungs and how from the lungs by the pulmonary artery it is come to the left atria and then by the mitral right to left right ventricle and how it is from the dorsal aorta so what percent of ventricle that is 30% in a surface of ecg qrs complex ecg electrocardiograph or electrocardiogram itole normally par amara it is it measures the PQRS for this is the structure of this is structure of P Q R S T and P denotes for the depolarization of atria or the contraction of atria contraction of atria or depolarization of atria QRS complex contraction of ventricle or depolarization of ventricle and t denotes repolarization of ventricle so here why is ecg used and what is the what is the relation between ecg electrocardiograph and electrocardiogram this class i will i will explain about this ecg electrocardiogram and electrocardiograph and what is what machine how the machine is used in human body and why pqrst r involved in showing the function why not the other uh, other alphabets are not used then p is denotes for the atrial or the contraction of atria both side of atria contraction r denoted by the letter p and qrs for the symbol for the ventricular muscle contraction and t for the repolarization or the relaxation of ventricles then here qrs for the ventricular depolarization right ventricular depolarization of the contraction of ventricle normal activity of human heart are regulated by new normal heart of human heart regulated by intrinsically heart are normal that is intrinsically so that heart is called as myogenic in nature so answer is that is a not by the autonomic nervous system heart is myogenic in nature 
इट मीन्स हैट इज मायोजेनिक इन नेचर इट मीन्स इट इज द हार्ट रेट और द हार्ट बीट आर रेगुलेटेड बाय इंटरन सेल निजे निजे रेगुलेटेड हुई सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एन मायोजेनिक नेचर सो आंसर दैट इज वन देन ए कॉमन सिम्टम प्रोड्यूस बाय द मायोक्रेडियल इस्चिमिया मायो कार्डियल इस्चिमिया मायो कार्डियल इस्चिमिया मींस कोरोनरी आर्टरी देयर इज ए कोरोनरी आर्टरी व्हिच फॉर एग्जांपल दिस वन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कोरोनरी आर्टरी एंड कोरोनरी आर्टरी द सोल गोल ऑफ द कोरोनरी आर्टरी इज टू प्रोवाइड ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिएंट टू द हार्ट वॉल और द हार्ट सो व्हेन कोरोनरी आर्टरी stops providing oxygen and turn to the heart the function of heart gradually get decreased and in that case heart attack or myocardial infarct myo cardiac infarction or heart attack will occur and this is a part of myocardial ischemia it is angina angina means angina pectoris there is a disease angina pectoris it means when no enough oxygen reach to the heart muscle means kon that is when no enough oxygen reach to the heart muscle means enough oxygen heart muscle pe pahunche pe help kare ki that is coronary artery if coronary artery damage then oxygen and nutrients will not go to the heart muscle in that case angina pectoris occurs and there is symptoms of that is myocardial ischemia and it leads to heart attack then the steps of the cardiac cycle is in sequence here isovolumic contraction isovolumic relaxation isovolumic relaxation isovolumic contraction ejection and passive and passive ventricular filling and active then a data dump by next toilet eta and and the last one is a decrease in plasma albumin levels is likely to affect jodi jana karo albumin ro deficiency hochi and this one it is dump by homework steps of cardiac cycle in sequence isovolumic contraction isovolumic relaxation ejection passive and isovolumic relaxation isovolumic contraction and is very much simple and then there is what are the disorder you will face if you are having that is deficiency of albumin deficiency of albumin or decrease of albumin albumin is a protein which is present in plasma that is 6 to 8% of protein fibrinogen globulin albumin so comment here and plus i mean the to it fast class thila and blood ro component thila and also biology is very fast यदि हमें पढ़िया को चाहिए देन बहुत सारा जिनस अच्छे जो मेन सोर्स रू भी बाहर जाए बहुत सारा चांसेस अच्छे सो नेक्स्ट क्लास रे कौन डाउट थी देन कमेंट करके जन पार एंड नेक्स्ट क्लास रे आम यार जहाँ भी डाउट थी सल्व कराया एंड देन आगे को पढ़े एंड तो किसी क्वेश्चन भी करे तो यही सारा क्वेश्चन यदि कह डाउट थी भी देखिए एंड क्वेश्चन टा टे मडरेट लेवल एंड टप लेवल क्वेश्चन अच्छे तो एस एस पी टी जी हूँ कि एटीआर आई एस हूँ टी आर ठीक कम लेवल क्वेश्चन पचारे एंड तुमको से क्वेश्चन गुड़ाक भी नर्माली पूरा आसीज सो ये क्वेश्चन आंसर देव एंड नेक्स्ट क्लास में आमर आग को पढ़े एंड कौट कार प्रोब्लेम हो स्पीड हो किसी प्रोब्लेम हो दे यू कैन मेनसन इन योर कमेंट ओ थैंक यू एंड एंड जो जो क्लास होट्यूब्रे दे यू हाव टू सी ओके